hi hello i'm glad to come your way again today i welcome you to my channel victorian iris winning life and i pray that as you keep coming around here you will keep getting tips that will help you stay on top in life and will help you keep winning in life everything i'm discussing in this channel they are mostly uh, tips that will help us stay winning in life because that's the purpose and plan of God for our life like I, I I said the last time I said winning doesn't mean we don't have challenges it doesn't mean we are not to, we are not face to face with at times with overwhelming situations in our life but we need to to stay positive we need to stay in a winning place with a winning mentality knowing that despite all these things we are more than conquerors and one of those things that will help us winning in life that i'm going to talk about today is learning how to forget our past we have to learn how to forget our past because most people one thing that keep them depressed keep them unhappy that keep them in a place where they don't stay in a place of victory in life is because they keep holding on to their past and the past have robbed so many people of their glorious destinies in christ the past past guilt past shame past mistakes have kept so many place people in a place where god never destined for them to be and i would also like us to look at the word of god if we look at god's word for us in genesis chapter 41 uh, verse 15 to be precise there we saw joseph despite everything that joseph went through you know where his brothers they threw him into a pit they later they sold him to the ishmaelites and he was sold as a slave they joseph after everything when uh, God brought him out of the prison and enthroned him in a place of leadership as the prime minister of uh, Egypt, Joseph said something when his first child was born. He said something that when he named his child Ephraim, he said that God has helped me to forget my pains. And the second one, he named the second one, he said, he said, the first one, he said, God has helped me to forget my pains and my father's house. That means the trouble he went through in his father's house. And the second name he may name his child meant that God has helped him to prosper in this land of affliction. Meaning, the revelation behind that word is, it means that any time we learn to forget our pain, we learn to forget our past, we go forward in life. We get to a place where God wants us to be who he wants us to be. We prosper. So that will make you know that holding on to the past draws you back to the past. Holding on to the past holds you back to the pain of the past. And you might ask me, what do you need to forget? So many people, they are tied to their past without them knowing. There are so many mistakes you made in the past. So many people hurt you in the past. So many people that did a lot of things that is below your expectation in the past. So many things that you did to yourself. You made mistakes in the past that you are finding it difficult to let go. You are finding it difficult to forgive yourself. For Christ's sake, please forgive yourself. So these are the things I'm going to let us know. How do we forgive ourselves and how do we forget our past? That past that has been haunting us. We should keep living for now. Keep living for the uh, uh, for the future. Keep pushing and pressing forward. Just like St. Paul said. St. Paul said that this one thing I do. When you look at Philippians chapter 3 and verse uh, 13. He says that this one thing I do. He said I keep forgetting. He said this one thing he does that is very, very important. He said, I keep forgetting the things that are behind. And I keep pressing forward to the things that are, be are before me. So that means God himself expects us to forget everything that is in the past. And I always say that the past has passed. Let it pass. Let it be behind you. And when you look at St. Paul, 
why he made that statement from some people be said ah, is it not saint paul what does he have to forget saint paul had a lot of things he needs to let go if you were in the place of saint paul where he persecuted the same church he came to preach to he persecuted the same people he sat face to face with to preach to are people that he must have killed their husbands he must have killed their sons the bible said that he was zealous and he went about killing Christians, persecuting Christians. So if you ask of what need to be forgotten, St. Paul needs to forget, I tell you, he had a lot of, he needs to forget in his past. That past was haunting him. But he said one thing he does, and he knows that is very important, is that he keeps forgetting his past. He said this one thing, that is this very important thing, that you too should know that this is a very important thing you need to forget in your past. You need to forget in your life, your past. So many people, they hold on to secrets of the past. They hold on to shame of the past. They hold on to guilt of the past. No matter what it is, so what? You are not the first that have ever committed such a crime. I'm someone that has a ministry to prisoners and I minister in prisons. So there is nothing I've not had. I have sat face to face with a, a prisoner that have told me that he has killed so many people. I said, it has happened, it has happened. You don't need to dwell there. You don't need to keep feeling guilty. Now you are in the prison, this is a place of restitution. You have to forgive yourself. God has forgiven you, you've given your life to Christ. God has forgiven you, so you have to also forgive yourself. A lot of people don't forgive your, themselves. Some people will be going about, maybe some in, time, in some years past, maybe you, you committed abortion and now you cannot have kids and the devil keep coming to you and telling you, oh, it's because of that abortion you committed, it's because of that man you went out with, it's because of one thing or the other you did. And because of it, they can't forgive themselves. They can't let go of the past. The past keep haunting them. It's a lie of the devil. You have to forget your past. If you want to make impact, Today and in the future, you have to let the past go. So many people have stood in the same spot in life because they don't want to let their past go. They don't want to let go of their past. They are still holding on to people that must have hurt them. Yes, a man break your heart, so what? Go ahead and enjoy your life. Live well with all the things I will discuss here today. Love yourself. By the time you keep living a full life, I tell you, you will see someone that is better than that person you thought it was the best. You will see people that will appreciate you more because the best of you comes out when you start living fully the full life that God has given you. You start living the life that God intends for you. Stop living a life of regret, a life of, a life of guilt, a life of shame. Those things keep pulling you to, the, to, uh, uh, to your past, keep pulling you behind. So you have to let go of your past. Even God himself said, forget ye not, that re sorry, remember ye not the former things. And the same Bible told us, he said, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He said, all things are passed away. Can you see that? All things are passed away. If God himself said, all things are passed away. So why do we still keep holding on to the, the past? Why do we still keep going back to bring the old things that have passed away to the future and the present you have to let go of the past you have to let go of whatever hurt you have gone through you have to sit down and say i'm putting my feet down to be the best that god has created me to be the best of in my destiny to be the best in my career you have to put your feet down and say whatever has been holding me down whatever guilt of any sin i've committed god has forgiven me i have to forgive myself god has forgiven the people that hurt me and i have to forgive them and let go i'm still going to talk about it in the next video this is the part one of it the part two i'm going to talk about how you can forget your past i'm going to give us tips on how you can forget your past so please learn to forgive yourself learn to let go live in the present put more pressure in the present by living for now enjoying the now enjoying the things that god wants you to be be a blessing to other people i tell you if you let go of the past you will enjoy your present and you keep looking forward to the future with great excitement so please let go of your past the past has passed and let it go i'm going to talk 
after watching this video please like share and subscribe please just subscribe you'll see a red button behind you just subscribe there i'm going to talk about how you can forget your past in the part two of this video thank you god bless you